What's up guys, Hyped Hazard here, and uh, it's my 2021 year review. I'm sure a lot of you know by now that my 2021 has been shit. Plain and simple, word of the year, utterly, utterly horseshit. However, as you know, I always try and make these year reviews about vlogging and not my life. Of course, you know, being wheelchair bound for seven months and then you've got surgery, coma, fucking cancer has affected this year's uh, vlogging style. Nonetheless, I did make vlogs this year, so let's get to reviewing. I'm in a different shirt and that's because it's a different day. Four days later, in fact, because it's taken me four days to try and edit the monstrosity of 2021 year review. And it, it, I filmed about an hour and a half. I edited it down to about an hour. And then I looked at it and I was just like, this is the most boring vlog I've ever seen. Like literally I had an hour, like almost 54 minutes or whatever, ready to upload, but I just couldn't bring myself to do it. Mainly because, well, it was trash. And it was trash because the year was trash. 2021 was a trash year. So honestly, there's no year review this year. Uh, there isn't really anything to look back on. It, the video that I filmed was just an hour of me listing all the vlogs that I filmed. Oh, I went to Ikea. It was trash. I literally said that in the vlog. I literally told people not to watch it. What kind of year review is that? It's literally the exact same Ikea tour, but from a lower down perspective because I'm in a wheelchair. That's it. That's literally all I did. Don't watch it. And if you're wondering why this year review is like being uploaded a week after New Year's Eve, it's because I had to go through some room changes in the hospital. I needed some, you know, minor surgery, you know, minor procedures unit, if you will. Uh, well, I got some um, laughing gas, which was pretty fun. Got Celine to film it. Turn that screen a bit too much. What's up, guys? Hyped Hazard here. I'm about to get an injection. <laughs> well, actually, it, 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 it makes you giggle a bit, doesn't it? Yeah. So you want me to give it? Yeah, a little bit. Yeah. <laughs> it detaches you from the world. Yeah. Hello? Oh, when I hear it, I'm like, whoa, bro. <laughs> it sounds like, bro. Okay. I'm trying to focus. Yeah, well, maybe give that a break for another minute. I'll just, <laughs> oh, I'll probably have had enough for a short part. Very fine. We'll again, right? I swear, if I'm out by the time he goes in, that's it. <laughs> yeah, that's not part of the process. Don't that's waste the time. Anyways, the last few minutes of my actual hour long year review video was pretty much okay. So I'm just gonna leave you to that. Uh, the thing I do in every end of the year wrap up thing is talk about my favorite thing. So let's get into that. Favorite song. My favorite song of 2021 was Dandelion by Ruth B. Very soothing, very peaceful, exactly what I needed while chilling at home, doing nothing and chilling in a bloody hospital bed Again, doing nothing. Uh, last year's was epic Godzilla. But my my mindset really wasn't in the mood to get pumped with rap. So yeah, calm, soothing dandelions was where it was at. Favorite film? I went to the cinema to see Spiral. That is it. That is probably the only new film I watched this whole entire year. Annoyingly, it would obviously be the new Spider-Man film, but I've been in hospital, so I can't see it. So yes, stupid bloody Saw 8 is my favorite film of the year, which honestly, fine, I love Saw, sure. Like last year, if I was like, oh, what's your favorite film? Saw, the new Saw film? Yeah, it makes sense. But bloody Spider-Man, oh! I'm mad, I'm not gonna see it until it's out on DVD, unless someone can pirate it for me, please. Hit me up. Fun fact, my favorite film of 2020 was a film called Clouds. Now this is a film based on a boy who gets cancer and dies. Like, I, I don't know what the hell my mindset was in 2020 to think that's my favorite film. Uh, like, I mean, then again, the other option uh, that I had last year was a film called Onward, where it's about a boy that's dad dies and he brings him back to life only to die again. So I, you know, I made, you know, if I was picking what my 2021 future was, dad dies twice or I get cancer and dies. Ugh. I mean, you know, fuck it. All right, I'll take one for the team. You're welcome, dad. But when I rewatched 2020 year review and I saw that, I was like, what the fuck? Like, I'm pretty sure I liked an Insta post that said, uh, you know, like this if you want your life to turn out like your favorite film. And I clicked it thinking, oh yes, yeah, I'm thinking, you know, of King Kong or something, not bloody clouds. Who decided that? Favorite vlog. Now my favorite vlog of 2021, it's not really that hard. I mean, they're all 
pretty bad. They're all like, you know, ones to fives in terms of goodness level. But I would have to say me making the Easter bunny egg thing uh, is my best vlog. Mainly because the pure joy on my face in seeing a hyped hazard creation actually look good. That is actually fucking incredible. Like, it's not like I decided to make pizza and it worked. It's like, oh yeah, you made pizza. It's like, even when I made pizza, it turned out shit. But when I thought about something and thought, oh, this could be epic and it worked. <coughs> Must admit, beautiful. The smile on my face says it all. Favorite moment. Now this is pretty cringe, but my favorite moment of vlogging in 2021 was the first time I decided to vlog after everything with hospital. So when I was in hospital and I filmed those little like two second segments of me like pressing on my like button thing when I, like, I couldn't talk and I was going <laughs> I decided to film myself like that and it was when I could literally lift up my phone, vlog, do some weird funny shit that I knew I could use in a later vlog and then just stop and then you know nap for another 10 hours. That was when I was like, oh yeah, I'm getting back to it. Because obviously I couldn't do anything in this goddamn ICU. But when I slowly started to get better and better and better and I vlogged and I started talking, that was it. That was best moment I realized, oh yes. Like you don't realize what you have until it's gone. You know, I didn't realize that holding up a goddamn camera would be so thrilling. I mean, now I've got a, a selfie stick, so I don't even need to hold it up. So, whoa, whoa, whoa. and that's it. That is my 2021 year review. I mean, from 2019 going to Disneyland and Amsterdam and 2020, which was my best year of vlogging ever, to 2021, which is just haha <laughs> lol cancer. Uh, it, it, bleh, bleh. It's the best way I can describe it, really. Sound effects, just wah, wah, wah. I mean, I've, I'm still vlogging to this day, to this day. Uh, so 2022, no matter what you fucking do to me, I will vlog. I mean, exactly, none the fucking less. 2022 can't be worse than 2021. I sh fucking hope this isn't a foreshadowing in 2022 when I'm, well, whatever, just dead. You know, like, like, you know, I'm going to, I'm going to upload that little segment and put it, schedule it to be uploaded next year at the end of the year. So if I do die and I can't upload a vlog, randomly on New Year's Eve, there'll just be a vlog uploaded going, 2021 can't be worse than 2022. You know, I think that'd be pretty sick. And if I don't die, I'll just delete it and voila, I was right. So yeah, look out for that. Or hopefully you don't see it, but you know, we'll see. So this is the part where I thank everyone who's watched this video, last video, Vlogmas, every video, last year's video. Thank you. If you comment, if you like, if you share my video to your friends and family, what, 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 I'm trying to get famous over here. Uh, thank you. Yeah, and thank you if you support my dying evil blood cells because I need it, okay? It's depressing in here. Oh, I think a nurse is coming in. Hello, how are you? Hello. Now, if I was to give one goal for 2020, I mean, normally it's like get a thousand views or, you know, go to Paris and climb the Eiffel Tower, blah, blah, blah. This year, I just want to upload a video saying I'm cancer free and that's it. That's all I care about. Because as soon as I do that, the vlogs will start pouring out and Height Hazard will become famous. Probably not, but oh well. Thank you for watching. Goodbye. <laughs> That's when I jiggle.